on the air. The picture that's crammed with all of the glorious entertainment of the last three decades. A cavalcade of show business with Bing Crosby, Louise Campbell, Ned Fox, Dr. Walter Damrosch conducting the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra, Laura Hope Cruz, lovely Linda Ware, and hundreds of stars of tomorrow. On with our show as Bing Crosby sings A Man and His Dream. You always stir my imagination. Sometimes it borders on fantasy, and sometimes I find visions flash through my mind, close to reality. Night, a soft guitar, a hidden lane, the moon, and here and there. A whispered word, a kiss, and now and then a sigh for a man. theme with which to open the story of a man whose dreams gave America some of its greatest stars in the entertainment world. This man, since the turn of the century, has been America's prince of laughter, music, drama, and song, writing some of the world's most melodious song hits, discovering dozens of the world's greatest stars of stage, screen, and radio. Truly, he is the star maker. His name is Gus Edwards, a name that brings fond recollections to every star on Broadway and to the millions who have heard his songs. To him, we fondly dedicate this radio preview of Paramount's new motion picture, The Star Maker, a vivid panorama of one of America's most colorful efforts. It was just about 30 years ago that Gus Edwards' famous If I Was a Millionaire charmed the nation, and it's still being whistled from coast to coast today. Here it is, sung by Bing Crosby as the star maker himself, with a newsboy quintet assisting. If I was a millionaire... If I was a millionaire, there wouldn't be nothing too good in the world for me and my pals to share. Now don't tell me I'm shooting hot air, kid, but here's what I'd do on the square. If I was a real life, regular first class, cross my heart, million. Every schoolhouse in the nation I'd write upon the blackboard big and clear Instead of one there will be two vacations Each vacation six months twice a year Oh, there wouldn't be no school when it was raining I'd let you stay at home when it was fair You'd have free soda fountains Say I'd build you ice cream mountains if I was a millionaire. The star maker was a man of great dreams for the kids of America. He loved children and wanted to give every one of them a chance at fame. 
In the picture, Bing Crosby discovers scores of stars of tomorrow in family homes and orphanages across the country. Heading the list of the picture's discoveries is Linda Ware, a 14-year-old girl, herself an orphan, with a voice mature beyond her years, able to sing the rarely attempted E above high C. We find Bing in his office, about to audition a number of youngsters, when he hears... how great an inspiration the star maker was to the youngsters who made the world's greatest entertainers. Now, look, everybody has to sacrifice a certain amount of fun to get what they want. You want to be a star, don't you? Well, I don't know. It's an awful lot of work. Of course it is, and it's hard work, too, honey, but you'll get over it. Good troopers do. Say, this is show business. It's another world. We're different from other people. But when I'm with other people, I don't feel any different. I feel just the same to you. But you've got something else. You've got something that sets your apart. Jane, did you ever notice how a star shines? How it seems to stand out way up there in the sky? There's magic in that. You know what I mean? I think I do. Well, that's what I want to do with you. I want to put you up there. But you've got to help me. You can't have any thought in your head except about that star. You gotta go on and on. You have to work and work and work. On and down toward fame go the star maker and all of the kids he finds. Here's Singh and his gang from the picture singing a great new number. Go fly a kite. Go fly a kite. And fly Go on, make friends with the stars. Have a talk with the stars. If you find a way to live, if you find a way to find a kind of like it, go fly a kite. Can you imagine your thing? Because you've got to work right on the feet of the train. Drama, song, and now laughter. Take Ned Fox, who says, I hate kids. Surround him with a gang of the star maker's signs. Force Ned to tell them a bedtime story. And this is what you hear. Then little Willie Rabbit came to the edge of the woods. And there was a farmhouse. As Willie started to dig under the fence, he spied a lettuce patch. Hurrying over, Willie began to nibble on a lettuce. Why did he nibble at the lettuce, Uncle Speed? Because he was a rabbit. Rabbit likes lettuce. Does it go into the house, Uncle Steve? I don't know. We haven't come to that yet. He nibbled at the lettuce and then thought he would like a drink of water. So with a hop, skippity, and a jump, he scurried over to the well. What color was Willie Rabbit, Uncle Steve? I don't know. What difference does it make? I only know what's in the book. And as Willie Rabbit leaned over to get the bucket, He's flying. I bet you're anything. He's flying. All right, he fell in, and all the little children from the house heard the kerplunk and ran over to the well to see what had happened. And what did happen? 
And then the big black wolf came over the hill, and seeing all the little children, he jumped over the fence and ate them all up. Oh, he doesn't say that in the truck, Uncle Steve. There, yeah, I thought so. Oh, I can't stand the day after day. I'm going mad. Let me out of here. Let me out. <laughs> The Star Maker, Hollywood's thrilling cavalcade of show business, full of the glorious memories of yesterday, packed with nostalgic melodies that a nation sang through the years. You'll hear Bing himself singing such well-remembered tunes as Look Out for Jimmy Valentine, I Wonder Who's Kissing Her Now, In My Merry Oldsmobile, School Days, and Sunbonnet Sue. Those truly were great numbers. And so are the new ones, especially composed for the star maker by Johnny Burke and James V. Monaco. Listen to Professor Bing and his pupils sing Till the Bluebird Sings. Are we referring to the bluebird? I hear that new note in his song, ladies and gentlemen, beneath the moon. If you're a bluebird, nothing ever goes wrong. Things may happen, let them happen, till the bluebird sings. Storms have rainbows, life has been, and care, you know, have rain. And those parties are severely, but important things. The sun may hide behind the hill and still the bluebird sings. And the sun, sun! Aren't they really unimportant things? The sun may hide behind the hill now let's begin the meeting. Till the blue bag. And now, as the curtain falls on this preview of the Star Maker, I believe you will agree with me that Bing's new show looks like mighty fine entertainment. It is fine entertainment. A picture every member of the family should see. This program, dedicated to Gus Edwards, the star maker, was produced in the Paramount Studios in Hollywood. You have heard Bing Crosby, Linda Ware, Ned Fox, and hundreds of the stars of tomorrow. All from Paramount's cavalcade of show business, the star maker. This is Gene Whitman speaking. <laughs> Thank you.